Welcome to the Miracle Mile. They call it the Miracle Mile, a lucky road in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. We're coming up here at the start of the Miracle Mile on the left here. One of the first winners, about $21 million. Looks like your old typical city, but something strange about it with all these winners. Phil Moses manages Ma and Pa's. It's the most famous store on the mile. They sold a record-breaking lottery ticket back in 2006. I just couldn't believe it. Little Fond du Lac, we won the ticket. The actual winners were a group of 100 local cheese factory workers. Every time the lottery got over $100 million, then we would all put in a dollar. That fateful night on August 5th, 2006, Sherry and her 99 co-workers hit it big. And I looked at my husband, I'm like, oh my God, and I started shaking. Also in the lucky group was then 19-year-old Jake Lapine. A million things go through your head. Well, how much is it going to be exactly, and, and what am I going to do with it? They called them the 100 Miracles, each one taking home around 660000 after taxes. After we won, we had a party on Main Street in front of Mom and Pa's, and they did their little TV thing, and it was a lot of fun. Since the big win, more than a third of the employees quit the cheese business, including Sherry and Jake. And when it came to making a career move, Hometown boy Jake didn't stray far from his roots. This is Dutch's trading post. I was able to purchase a store about four months after being one of the Lucky Sargento lottery winners. This is basically a sporting goods store. We have everything here for the outdoors. Growing up, my dad brought me into hunting, fishing, the outdoors, and I've had a passion for it my whole life. Jake plans to make a few upgrades to the shop. This is the archery range ahead here. We're going to give the range a facelift and hope to add a few features such as uh, video archery. This is their Alpha Max 32. I absolutely love it. I love dealing with people and, and I have a passion for everything I sell. But all work and no play makes Jake a dull boy. I bought a 20-foot Ranger walleye fishing boat and I don't regret a second of it. <laughs> I love it and I love fishing, so I could justify it. spending a little bit of the money for fun. Thanks to the win, Jake's former co-worker Sherry was able to spoil herself, too. This was one of the things I bought with my winnings. It's a 2008 Chrysler minivan. It's fully loaded. It's great for the kids. Got TVs, so they're quiet when you go on those long trips. Sherry's other splurge is just for her. My ring was about five grand. It's about a three-quarter carat, and I wanted it. But the wind bought Sherry something far more valuable than material possessions. I used to work in the back area over there. I was the process technician, which is a fancy name for an operator of a machine. Sherry had the afternoon shift and only saw her kids once a day before they left for school. I would come in about 1.30 and I'd leave them about 10 o'clock, sometimes a little later. I'd see them for like an hour in the morning and then I wouldn't see them again until the next morning. The win meant Sherry never had to work again, but she's a people person and missed the daily camaraderie. So guess where she ended up finding a part-time job? I love working at Mom Paz. It's not really work. It's more of a kind of a fun atmosphere. It's just always got a smile on your face and happy and bubbly. Sometimes you'll have a customer that comes in and they'll, can you rub the ticket for me? I've been asked to kiss the ticket. Ma and Paz might have its very own good luck charm, but there's a rivalry brewing in Fond du Lac, and the locals are starting to hedge their bets. Mon Paz might have an edge over Powerball, but we have an edge over Badger 5. I won $36,000. $31,000. Hi, we're the Bentleys. We won $17.2 million playing the Oregon Lottery. Oregon couple John and Jackie Bentley had worked hard all their lives. John at a construction supplier and Jackie at a claims company. So when they hit it big back in 2004, they kissed their jobs goodbye. Instead of calling in sick, I told him I was calling in rich. The Bentleys moved into a spacious new pad outside Portland. But John couldn't bring himself to sell their previous home, which had originally belonged to his mother. When my mom was alive, her chair sat right here. TV was on a console that I still have to this day. John and his mom were especially close. When she got ill, he moved in to care for her. This is my mom's room. Or was my mom's room. It was the master bedroom. And when I stayed the nights, I stayed in this spare bedroom. 
so I was close enough to, if anything happened. When I came home from work, it was a late night, and that's when I found her sitting in her chair slumped over. John's mom had suffered a stroke and ended her days in a nursing home. Your mom, you only have one. You know, like I say, even right now to this day, I still think about her. The couple gave the house to Jackie's parents, and John finds comfort knowing it's in good hands. Sentimental value means a lot to me. With them moving in, it also just makes things easier to be sentimental, because when I come over, it's still, it's still mom's here. house. John will never forget his past, but with money in the bank, it's time to live a little. And where better than in the ultimate party town? Welcome, Welcome to, to Vegas. Vegas. Yeah! Up next, heartbreak, then true love for the frugal fisherman. I mean, we'll go out for all day, not spend a dime other than for bait if we can't catch any. <laughs> and later, winning can be sweet. What mama likes, mama gets. But losing can be even sweeter for the trucker millionaires. First 20 pounds, my second 20 pounds, third 20 pounds, and my fourth 20 pounds. How much do Americans spend on lottery tickets each year? The answer when we come.